So much follow-up for the Neela ultimate. Once the Apotheosis goes through, you have Counter-Strike, you have Q3 here, you've got Rakan, and you can easily set up the Apotheosis with the Maokai ultimate here. It's just un super unusual what Jendia put together, but you know how it works. And the Naryu called out, putting it all on the line here, down 0-2. And it is one of Zayas's best, his day Go again. Feels like it's coming through, they're moving forward. Can they get the flashes? As Guma's just running away, they are gonna get the one out of Karia as Bramble Smash comes in, the knockup as well. Karia in a bit of trouble. Can he get away is the question. The answer is no, it's first blood as Guma gets the first kill as well, but immediately gets taken down and pays. He's choosing that one away, a small victory at the end of the day here for Gen. Level six. Oh, level six. Okay, they're just gonna pull the trigger. His owner's still here, but he can't do anything. It's Delight, he might even live. No, he gets taken out right at the end. It is a trade of one for one, but it's still uh, lead. And in large part due to the passive, as they're not done yet. And there's not much that owner can do. I mean, he's so low as Apotheosis comes in. Oh. This is, uh, okay, well, this is not the dive we were looking for. As owner, he does get in, even with low health and makes something through. He's just going all the way into the enemy jungle. Meanwhile, we do have this drink that's being taken, and it does go over to Owner, as he will take it down. Another flash here as Owner is trying to survive, but can he as the light says, all right, I'll, I'll press my R button. Somebody's got to do it. Meanwhile, up in the top side, we have another. To just barely one auto away from death, get over this wall. And he also critically gets Peanut's ult out, because if Peanut has ult here, it's a much better fight. <laughs> We're just fighting again. It's just never ending. Owner looks like he will pick up the eye as we miss that a lot of times. And actually, Toby gonna get taken out in the mid lane. That is going to be a takedown here to the side of T1. They also got the top one, they're not gonna connect. But this is the advantage in terms of teleport that Doran had here that I was talking about moments ago. He can get back here faster. So, yes, Owner is able to rush this down and secure it, but he's gonna die for it as uh, Doran gets straight back to Latra's grasp. I think it's wise here for Genji to back off. And they're gonna try to push mid here instead into Faker. Harold drop top size. I mean, he's got all. I mean, they're just gonna dive on in the Apotheosis. They kill Faker underneath the turret. No sums, no health anymore, as now this crash is gonna come into the top lane. Zeus is trying to get something done, but here comes Peanut. It is Meganar, but the 2v1 might be enough to take down Zeus. They check the brush. They have that uh, set up as a nice Nar does come in, but here comes the ult from Peanut, just chasing down Zeus as he flashes over the wall up as now. Just chasing him down the mini Nar, and he's not going to be able to get away. Peanut just taking the tower just for fun, and they will take it. And that's always problematic when you have a Dila against you. T1 has to deal with that engage. He's not in position, though. The Megan are not here for Zeus. He's just coming on in. Jovi is way behind enemy lines, but Doran is here with him as well. Goes in. They lock down two people, but Guma's getting free hits into Doran right now. He's going to take him down with the help of Faker, and the damage is coming out now, finally, from the side of T1. They will push them off the objective and take down the Hex Tech Tree. They're going to get the Dragon, putting him up to two with, by the way, a third cloud. So, going to get the top side turret. This game remains close. It certainly does. Here still isn't really in that big of an item disparity if you look as well at what he has finished. So you might have another fight. Doran nor Faker have TP. Little play here on Akaria, who is being isolated, but the damage is not quite there as the depth charge keeps him alive for a while. But the Maokai ultimate just zones everybody else, and now Faker's getting soloed by a Jax as okay. River, they are pushed now out of mid lane as Gen G try to gain back control of the game. And we'll get this uh, thing that I'm looking towards is how is a actual 5 going to look? Because here, uh -oh. Faker. Faker once again doesn't have his flash. He's getting bullied now by Chofi. And even this Leandre is just not able to do too much as the all-out comes through, and that's going to be the end of him. This time, Faker is... Problem is, this is Chofi's first-person view. <laughs> I'm fighting top. We didn't get to see it because they're fighting again. It just never ends. Just now, this is going to be a uh, beast and pretty low, actually. The Apotheosis is good, but Kuma gets so much gold out of that kill on the page. And finally, T1 are going to turn something around. Toby doesn't even bother. Exactly how that one all broke out, but without Toby being there, and a bit of a rocky contest there over no real objective. Genji gets punished. That's Baron. And it was just Gen G trying to hard force that Jax advantage bottom side, and they get punished in a big way. <laughs> Same spot, similar fight, the execution, not gonna happen, but Baker will get the job done. And now Jovi, he's trying to run away, but here comes T1, the onslaught. They're finally getting some momentum in this game. Jovi now flashing away. Owner might put him in 
to the grave as Toby is still on the run. And it looks like he is pretty much done for. Jay's on the chase here, and finally he will go down. Jay is going to pick up the kill. I really think there is composition can operate if they start to fall behind. And T1, they want more. Oh, he's going to get him. And OK, the cleanse and the flash, but one root could do it. No, owner going to go pretty far. In goes Delight, going to charm up four people. May need to pay for it with his life. And Jay hits the Meganar, freaks back pays, and pays will get taken out as owner will set up that play alongside of Zeus as the push continuing to come in here from the side of T1, but Doran goes in, takes out Baker, but Gumas is free hitting right now, and is looking to take out Doran, will not be able to at the end of the day. And Doran is gonna make it's heroic, and they're able to secure a kill back. And even gets the flash out from Faker, flashing off the auto, and Soma gets out alive. This Drake certainly going to T1. Will set them up for Soul Point. He was trying to bait this with Guma, but it just completely falls flat. And now that tool is gone to contest Baron as well. Oh, and they have no idea. They don't have the vision. They're getting in on Taguma as he has the stopwatch, which is perfectly timed. Guma stays alive for a little bit, but not long enough. A massive Nara to the wall. Zeus wants to carry this fight, but I don't think it's going to be enough as the damage is huge here the from eye. the side of Baker. And it will not be a straight up win to themselves to this spot. Can they challenge Gen T in a straight up 5v5 team fight where you're on similar conditions here? We'll have to wait and see as it looks like it's starting up now. Peanut gonna throw in that ultimate owner in the back of the pit here. As the follow-up comes in, they're gonna get onto Guma. That's the damage is not quite there, but Guma's just not allowed to auto-attack in this one. Gets put into the GA, but Baker is taken out, and Guma's just not doing damage. He's just dead the whole time. The Counter-Strike comes in, and it looks like Gen Z have done it. The engage gets in onto that Draven with no defensive of capabilities. And now Gen Z will take down the Baron. Huge here for Gen Z. They're going to get so much gold off of the play. And they've been behind in gold for quite some time. This should nearly even it up as the Baron goes over. Just a little bit behind half a K. Down even farther gold than Gen Z was. And they're still behind in gold. The gold not really matter to, uh, not mattering too much here in this game number three. Another defensive Weaver's Wall here to try to slow down the Baron. Doesn't feel great to use them like this. Peanut's getting some cross vision here to make sure there's no flanks. They are still going to secure this turret. And T1 coming up empty again. Uh, because trying to actually set up for a soul fight or a Baron contest, which you're going to have to do. On and yes, it does come in, but it's five members of Gen G. Chovy going to get stuck on the other side of that wall. Definitely delaying some time for Zeus to potentially get away. The damage is coming in. They really want that GA, if possible, as Rolling Death pulls in. And they're just getting in on Taguma. As now carry on the front line as well. In goes Delight, looking for that charm. He's going to pick up Guma in that back line. And now Toby going to threaten all the damage in that back line. And so will Peanut and Dorian. They just rip T1 to shreds in their own jungle as they get run around the map and they will be taken out. Gen G just absolutely dominating them here in this fight. That's good one still alive. We'll see if Owner can maybe clear the waves, but still 25 seconds on Faker, still 30 on Guma. And it's a day of threes here for Gen G. Three different styles of composition, a 3-0, and the three-peat. The three-peat is coming to life. Gen G will do it. Once again, they take out T1 in an epically dominant final, and they take the 3-0, the 2023 LCK Summer Champions.